today's video, I'm gonna do another practice session, or in other words, practice with the pro with the pro. So we're gonna use the My Training Aid, the pro, to work on a very specific part of the game. Um, as you evolve with your training with the pro and you get good at aligning the components and starting to understand the dynamics of how we try to extend, or that we try to capture the extensive quantity of angular momentum, which means the radius of the swing extends freely on its own, as we get better at these skills, we start to learn some of the body feels and the nuances. Um, one of the unique things I want to show you here is that when you work with the pro and the impact reminder, if you're swinging it really well, if you video yourself as you come through here, especially when you put a little bit of energy into this, I'll put a little bit more energy, is that we kind of look at video, I'm going to have a very different impact position. In fact, I probably a very different one than I do when I hit a golf ball because I'm still working out, trying to get rid of some of my older, older patterns, working in the new ones. But uh, one of the things I love about the Pro is that it shows you how you actually look when you're doing something well. And you can learn a lot if you pay attention by, by taking some videos and really paying attention to the feels of what happens in the swing, and you can start to apply them. So the practice session I'm going to do here is we're going to talk about being centered. Okay. When you try to, when you're using, when you're using the essence of angular momentum to align and to strike something, I want to get the maximum extension of the cylinder away from the, the center of my kind of upper thorax here, the center of my swing, to happen just after I actually hit the pad. The good news is that you don't really have to think about how to do that. Once you understand how to swing the pro and you can feel it, you can feel the extending of momentum because the align, the the uh, pro is an alignment. It's very natural actually for your body to react in such a way that really helps you. So you can see all of a sudden I got a lot of lower body action that's helping me not only get energy into the ground and in the swing, but it's also helping me get more velocity on that. And to actually do that and to have a predictable strike, this piece can't be moving around a lot. So for instance, like if I just did this and I move forward arbitrarily, I'd rapidly start to feel my body try to do something different. So it becomes very, very natural to have a very stable looking head and upper, upper kind of upper spine area because for something to extend naturally and to take advantage of it predictably, it has to have a very stationary, a very steady center point. So you have to learn how to do that. So striking the impact reminder gets you that feel. So after doing a few reps like that, what I love to do is just a practice session. So if you're a pro owner, that's what I would do is I'd work with this a couple times. And then I would just do a couple slow rehearsals and try to feel what is it, hey, what, would it, what is it like? What do I look like when I actually do that? So when I'm hitting the pro or hitting the impact pad, I look something more like that when I strike the golf ball for sure. So I'm really gonna kind of feel what is it like to be more centered. For myself, I have a little tendency to bleed a little ahead in my transition and lose a little energy in my swing, which results in a little bit of a late flip, which we may see on some of these shots or not. So I'm always constantly working on trying to feel what it's like to stay centered and let the momentum go. And then once I've got that going, one of the important parts about practice, don't go full speed. <laughs> Try to work into something at more of, a, more of a passive speed right here. So as I go to the golf shot now, I'm gonna really try to just pay attention to staying a little more centered as I go through. And whether I hit it good, even that was probably a little bit faster than I like to go. But I wanna keep going back and forth from the idea that I created with the pro. Okay, there's my more centered, there's my more centered release of energy and then getting up and hitting my golf shot, just nice and passively, and see if I can feel that centeredness. That one was a lot better. So that's more like the pace I wanna go. And even slower than that's better. So one more time, practicing with my pro, if I wanna really start to get more centered in my swing, it's obvious here because the only way to make it work is to use the extension of momentum, to let it flow through the, flow through the body, through the rope and into the cylinder for alignment. I get used to what that feels like and I'm just always amazed with how much more I feel like I'm cleared and forward than I actually am with a golf club. So I wanna keep going back and forth after doing that a couple times. Okay, what's that gonna feel like? Oh yeah, my arms are gonna feel like they're more forward over there. And that starts to kind of get you more in line with some of the things you may need to coach yourself a little bit more on your body movements. But those body movements are very relevant to actually striking the ball well. Most of us, when we're not doing that well, we're doing something else as soon as we put the rigid object into our, into our, into our hands. So, and again, I'm gonna go back to a little slower shot here. Try to really feel like I'm getting that more centered movement. That was a lot better. Notice I kind of went more of a kind of half swing on that as opposed to trying to rip through it. Because again, I want to really pay attention and see if I can get myself to be more centered as I come through. So again, many, many benefits to working with the pro, but the practicing should be 
keep, keep feeding your body the energy and the image, and then come back to the golf club, slow rehearsal, then try to apply it in a shot. And if you do that working through your bag, you may find yourself over, if you, if you stay with that steadily, really starting to get, really starting to get the, the essence and the feels and even the visuals of what it's like to strike the ball better. So that's a great way to practice with a pro. Get yourself a pro and get to it.